Six months ago, my dad proposed the idea that we leave the country for the first time and go to London and Paris for spring break. Now, of course, my first thought was I finally get to go to a Waterstones. In this video, I was fortunate enough to go to multiple bookstores in London and Paris and do a little bit of a spoiler-free reading vlog. the trip we had actually not done much in London. We went sightseeing in other cities so this next day was going to be our first and unfortunately last day seeing what London had to offer. I specifically wanted to go to Piccadilly Circus for reasons in the moment Erin is about to explain. There's books in our hotel room which look amazing and so cute and there's also like a nice library in the hotel but I just read the last Magnolia Parks book and we're going to the bookstore BJ Mentions. I also really want to go to a Waterstones because they have such pretty editions of books that we don't have in the US. I think the thing that excites me most about this trip is all the books. Also, we're going to the Hard Rock Cafe, which has the One Direction telephone booth from the Take Me Home album. I mean, I'm so very excited to see that. I think this will probably be my favorite day of the trip, is book shopping. But I don't know, because I also want to go book shopping in Paris, but all the books are in French, so we'll see. On the flight and layover, I started Addicted After All. I want to say Addicted After All is the last book in the Addicted series, but there's still like more Calloway Sisters books in it. I don't really know though, it's a really long series, but it's definitely one of my favorites. It's so easy to get through if you don't know what the Addicted series is about. In the first book, the two main characters are best friends and they fake date to try to hide their addictions. They're also rich and famous and there's a found family aspect and plenty more to the books, but it's just a little rundown. I feel like the characters are very realistic, especially with their flaws, and I just love them so much, so I love the series. Suddenly, the world I used to know, I see it differently. You woke me from a dream, now it's reality. Baby, baby, you are really hurting me. Cause every time... gonna do a haul and tell you about my book shopping experience. So we went to Waterstones first. There were beautiful special editions of books that I had never heard of and I was like, ooh, probably shouldn't. There were also books that had alternative covers than what I own and they're books that I already read and I liked them but I didn't like love them so I was like, ooh, do you really need a second copy of this book? This Waterstones was huge. It had four floors which I know there's like a Barnes and Noble in New York that has four floors but my local Barnes & Noble is quite small. <laughs> anyway, I went to the romance section to look at all the Magnolia Parks books and they had all of them except for the last book and I was specifically looking for the original cover of the last book. So I was so bummed but I continued to look and I was like, okay, let's look at Taylor Jenkins' read. I really want another cover of Daisy Jones and the Six because the UK has two different covers of the book and I already have one. They of course didn't have the cover I was looking for, which is fine, I guess. Do I really need another copy of Daisy Jones and the Six? Yes, maybe one day. But I was looking at the tables when I finally found this 
I mean, of course I had to get this edition of Magnolia Parks. Like these books are just so special. Speaking of this series, I'm holding back tears right now. I'm currently in Kensington, London. You know who's at the Kensington Waterstones right now? I'm doing a book signing, but it's sold out. Hopefully I'll be able to go to a book signing at some point. But that point is not today. Anyway, the other book I was able to get was this edition of Happy Place. It is so pretty. I was in shock when I saw this because I thought it would be sold out because this book came out like a year ago. So I assumed they stopped making these editions and they would be gone, but it's now mine. This is about exes going on a vacation every single year to a cottage with their group of friends. The cottage is now for sale and they're doing one last vacation and they did not have the heart to tell their friends that they had broken up. So of course they fake date. This book is amazing. Hey, I just wanna add that this book has dual timelines of when the couple first met versus the present. I also would not call this book a cutesy little romance. It has some women's fiction and literary elements to it and I think that's why the book is so good because it's not just a romance, it's even more. I think I read this in my 24 hour readathon which you should totally watch. And I read this in the last reading vlog I did which I can also link. Anyway, then I went to Hatcher's because BJ mentions it in this book and I was reading it knowing I was coming to London. So I was like, okay, take a picture of Hatcher's. We're going there. So I went in specifically looking for Daisy Jones and the Six. I did not find the cover I wanted. Now my family, for some reason, was in a rush to leave, but they did not want to be there. So I looked at everything pretty quickly. Sorry, I didn't get as much footage. And there were beautiful editions of Six of Crows and A Good Girl's Guide to Murder beautiful beautiful editions now i really liked both of those books but i found six of crows was a little harder for me to get into and i was like mm, it's not one of my favorite books like if i'm gonna have like a special edition of a book i want it to be one that i love and i liked six of crows i didn't love it then with a good girl's guide to murder i really really liked the first book can't stand the third as good as dead is as good as dead to me so unfortunately, no books are coming home with me from Hatchards. This is my Kindle Fire from 2012. I was in second grade when I got this. This is what I played Minecraft on. Now with a free trial from Kindle Unlimited, I can read the Addicted series on. I didn't want to bring physical books with me because they're heavy and like airplanes. So now I'm going to read Addicted after all on this and let all of my problems just wash away. So that was my last night in London. The next day we took a train to Paris. Which, can we talk about that? Going from country to country in Europe is as easy as going from state to state in the US. And that bookshop like I was just beaming with joy I walk out of that bookshop and I'm telling my mom everything that happened the Abbey bookshop in Paris feels like you're walking through the set of a movie just being inside the atmosphere is amazing all the books are in English I loved it there and I want to return every day but this is my last day in Paris and I live so far away book haul I got a free bookmark and stickers at the bookshop and I ended up getting three books. The first book I got is Everything I Know About Love by Dolly Alberton. Now I think I can technically get this in the States, but like I saw it, I passed it, and I've never seen this book in person. Like I've heard Seth Moore say wonderful things about this book. 
but I've never physically seen it in a store. And this is the type of bookstore that you don't go in looking for specific books. This is one where you're like, let me just see what I can find. If I find a book, maybe I'll get it. This book called to me and I wanted to support a small business. I'm just really excited to read and annotate this book. Now this store had a lot of like the really fancy like special editions of books. So of course I got The Little Mermaid. I've sort of been collecting fancy editions of like classic books, especially like children's books. And this one is interactive. This book is just gorgeous and I've been talking a lot about like fairy tales and fiction in like a folklore class that I'm taking. Speaking of folklore, the bookshop was playing that album. Oh. So I'm walking through this magical alley of books and then all of a sudden I hear Mirabal and then I hear Mad Woman. Anyway, next book. I couldn't help myself, okay? So this is the UK edition of the Riley Keough cover. Now, of course, I already have the standard UK edition, and of course, I already have the American TV cover, but I didn't even realize I made a TV cover of the UK edition. I just love having different editions of this book, and it was really important to me to try to get a new edition of this book on this trip. This was definitely my favorite day of the vacation. I loved the bookstore. I love Paris so much. This city is so magical. And of course, the weather was fantastic today. This place just makes me so happy and I don't want to leave, but I have to leave tomorrow. I will be thinking about the Abbey Bookshop for the rest of my life. That bookshop is amazing. It's near Notre Dame. It's Canadian owned. Oh, and I am 50% through Addicted After All. I mean, of course I love this world and these characters, but with this book specifically, the characters are really starting to grow up. And I'm like, oh, my babies. They're going through a lot of change right now. They're overcoming certain things. And then there's certain things that are happening that are hard to overcome. There are little dramatic moments that have been happening, but I'm sort of waiting for like a bigger dramatic thing to happen. Is this book seven of the series? Addicted to you, Ricochet, addicted for now. Kiss the sky, hot house flower, thrive, addict, yeah, book seven. And there's only 10. The last book was just republished recently. And I'm so sad. I really don't want to leave this world. There's a spinoff series with, I don't even know how many books, a lot of books. So like, I know I don't have to leave this world soon, but it's not gonna be the same. Now I have a flight tomorrow and I'm hoping to get through the book on the flight. I feel like usually on the last day of vacation, I'm usually like, okay, I'm ready to go home. I'm ready to see my dog, but I genuinely don't want to leave Paris. I want to stay here for the rest of my life, but I do want to see my dog. I haven't seen her in over a month and it's killing me slowly. I love it here so much. I hope I will be back. Anyway, I gotta pack. I'll keep you updated on my reading though. Don't wanna be a one man woman. Got me stranded like a boat in the sand. Just the thought of that spread in my wings drives me crazy. Dressing up, fixing my strut. finished Addicted After All on the plane. That was Lillian Lowe's last book and it was just really sweet. I'm rating it four stars because it wasn't necessarily my favorite of the series, but I still really liked it. I mean, it was their last book, so it was really there just to serve the purpose of like wrapping everything up. It served its purpose and made me feel all warm and fuzzy inside. But there were other books in the series that were just like solid five star reads that had so much juicy goss in it. And like the characters are just like growing up now and like learning from their mistakes. I still have three more Calloway Sisters books, so I'm hoping that like there's a lot of drama in those three books. Even though I really love the characters and would love to see them living happy, stress-free lives. It's just Addicted for Now, Kiss the Sky, Hot House Flower. Those three books had so much drama in them. And I can't say I didn't love it. I so badly want to go back to Paris to the point where I'm learning French on Duolingo. I've been back in the US for over a week now and everybody keeps asking me how Paris was. They're like, were the people mean to you? How dirty was it? Did you see bed bugs? And to answer those questions, the people were so nice. Everybody was fluent in English, so we really didn't have any language barriers. Now, when it comes to the cleanliness in Paris and the bed bug situation, I did not run into any problems. I actually thought Paris was cleaner than London. It's definitely cleaner than the cities in the US. And the beds in our hotel did not have any bed bugs. I had such an amazing experience in Paris and it makes me sad that so many people are like, oh, like it's dirty, like the people are mean. Like, that wasn't the case. If you would like to see some of the photos I took in London and Paris, you should totally follow my Instagram. 
Link in the description. I hope you like this video. If you would like, comment, subscribe, I would very much appreciate it. And I will see you at some point or another, besties. Bye!